Hey guys, welcome to another episode of MSK Coding, and in this episode, I'll be showing you another program I made. This program is for a Yusako problem, and the problem is the Yusako 2018 December contest, the bronze part, problem one, mixing milk. So every Yusako problem has a description, so let's read it out. Farming is competitive business, particularly milk production. Farmer John figures that if he doesn't innovate in his milk production methods, his dairy business could get creamed. Fortunately, Farmer John has a good idea. His three prized dairy cows, Bessie, Elsie, and Mildred, each produce milk with a slightly different taste, and he plans to mix these together to get the perfect blend of flavors. To mix the three milks, he takes three buckets containing milk from the three cows. The buckets may have different sizes and may not be completely full. He then pours bucket one into bucket two, bucket two into bucket three, then bucket three into bucket one, bucket, bucket one into bucket two, and so on in a cyclic fashion for a total of 100 pour operations. So the 100th pour would be from bucket one into bucket two. When Farmer John pours from bucket A into bucket B, he pours as much milk as possible until either bucket A becomes empty or bucket B becomes full. We gotta find out how much milk will be in each bucket after he finishes all 100 pours. So, the input format. The first line of the input file contains two space-separated integers. The capacity C1 of the first bucket and the amount of milk M1 in the first bucket. Both C1 and M1 are positive and at most 1 billion, with C1 being greater than or equal to M1. The second and third lines are similar, containing capacities and milk amounts for the second and third bucket. Now, for the output, we need to print three lines of output, giving the final amount of milk in each bucket after 100 pour operations. So this is the sample input, 10-3, 11-4, 12-5, and this is the sample output, 0, 10, and 2. And so this is how we get the output. So the amount of milk in each bucket is 3, 4, and 5 at the beginning, so that's our initial state. Then after each pour, we basically just add. So 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 5 equals 12. But then from here, we need to realize that the first bucket only has a capacity of 10. So you can't pour all of the 12 into the first bucket. You have to leave 2 and then fill bucket 1 to its max, which is 10. And then keep going until you get to 12 again in the third bucket. And since positions 2 and 5 are the same, we know that it'll just keep repeating like this forever. So that's what it says, the last three states, then repeat in the cycle. Hopefully this makes sense, so now let's go into the code. So here's the code, and first we import the system function, sys, and the system function sets our input and output to these two files, mix milk in and mix milk out. So if you go back to the description, you'll see that uh, input format is from mixmilk.in and the output is from mixmilk.out. So now we can go back to our code and we take our input with C1, M1, C2, M2, and C3, M3. And the way we do that is we map the integer function to our input and we have to split because the input is space separated. As you can see, it goes 10, 3, 11, 4, 12, 5, the space. And so the split function removes the space and turns it into a list, which we then map the input function to because they're all strings at the beginning. And then we set those two values to C1, M1, C2, M2, and C3, M3. Now we get to the main part of the program, which is the pour function. And so we define the pour function to have arguments of M1, so in this case, that's the amount in the first bucket, C2, the capacity of the second bucket, and M2, the amount of milk in the second bucket. We first create a variable called amount left, which is C2 minus M2. It's the amount of space left in the second bucket. And we check if M1 is less than or equal to amount left, then you return zero and M2 plus M1. And the way this works is this first element represents the fact that now the first bucket has nothing left because we poured everything into the second bucket. And so now the second bucket has a, has a volume of M2 plus M1 filled. Now, if M1 is greater than the amount left, then our first element is M1 minus amount left, and the second element is C2. The C2 just means that we fill the second bucket all to the top, and the first element is how much we have left after we fill the second bucket to the top. So now we have a for loop, which is the 100 pours 
that's really 33 groups of 3 plus 1. And so the way we do it is we set m1, m2 to the poor because we return a tuple, which we can then set m1 and m2 to, then m2, m3, and then m3, m1. And be sure to note that every time we use different variables, we also have to change the different arguments to the poor function. Finally, we do m1, m2 again for the poor, and we print out the amounts in each of the three buckets. So we can run the sample, and it says that we are successful down here. And now we can submit to check out if all of the inputs that it's tested against work. And while it's loading, I'll just say I'm trying to be uploading more often, and I hope you like my videos that I'm starting to post. So now we can see that all of my test cases have been passed perfectly, and that means that this program works for the problem. I'll see you guys in the next episode of MSK Coding. Bye!